the new Flowing Flowers stamp set. Um, it is really pretty. I've already, it's well loved already, actually. <laughs> um, I saw it in the catalog during demonstrator pre-order and I knew I had to have it. Um, I like that there's some pretty floral images, but um, if you've known me, um, if you've been here before, you know that I'm a big font person and I just love the mixed font. I think it's, it's beautiful sentiments. And I think I especially like signing a card instead of a text. Um, so we're not gonna be using this one tonight, but we do use that as part of my Flowing Flowers class. So super cute. And it comes from, as I said, the new mini catalog. This is going to be live on January 4th and available to customers. Hi, Sue. And unfortunately, I can't show you the inside just yet because we're not allowed as per Stampin' Up! rules. But if you are in Canada and don't already have a demonstrator and you're not a demonstrator already and you would like to request uh, your copy of this catalog, let me know and I will get you a catalog. I'll send it in the mail. Um, you know, there's one thing to look at it online because I will provide it online, an online version uh, on the 4th but there's just something about getting the catalog in your hands uh, that I just love and that makes all the difference. So if you're in Canada, don't already have a demonstrator, please send me a message after this video and uh, with your address and I will send one out to you. Okay, with that, let's dive right in. And we're gonna make two cards with this fantastic set tonight. It, oh my gosh, wait till you see these, I'm so pretty. They're so pretty. Um, Actually, I'm going to grab my footstool too. <laughs> the one thing about moving around your room is that I work full time and I actually have a new designated space for uh, my work computer. So my good chair and my footstool have all moved over there. So now I need to go back and forth. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Laura. Yes, Pam, it's such a pretty set. And we're going to make two cards. And so let's bring out the supplies for the first one and this is what I would consider a simple stamping card it is just the stamps ink and paper we're gonna add a couple of embellishments but really this is a great beginner card so if you're new to stamping or you've never done it before at all um, this is a great card to get started with and we're gonna be using um, this uh, image right here as well as this one right here. And then we're gonna use the Just a Note sentiment. Now, let me get my chamois, because we're gonna need that. I forgot to wet it, but it's still damp from yesterday, so that's, that's good. Okay, so we have a basic white card base, and then I am bringing out a favorite of mine from the annual catalog. We cannot forget the annual catalog. Um, and we're bringing out that gorgeous hand penned designer series paper and i'm just going to give you a quick look at that again again this is from the annual catalog so these products are still good until may um, so this is still available and let me tell you that this stamp set pairs so nicely with the hand pen paper so if you have some of this on hand or if um you know you're looking to get place that first order in January because January is celebration as well. We can't forget about that. Um, so that's when you spend $60 um, starting January 4th in my online store. You do get to choose a free item from the celebration brochure. So if the hand pens, if you don't have that yet, that could be one of your items if you're looking to get the stamp set. They just pair so nicely together and I'll show you, show you that today. Um, so I have a piece of that that we're going to cut down and then I have some extra pieces of blushing bride cardstock and basic white. And we are going to just cut down this hand pen paper to four inches by five and a quarter inch. Now it's already cut partially to four inches so I'm just going to cut this to five and a quarter. Um, is it my favorite stamp set? Well, you know what? I only have a f I probably have about four 
stamp sets from the new catalog. I've also used a lot of the Abstract um, Beauty Suite, which I'll show you some products from today. But th those, um, that suite is part of my online retreat. So I'm not going to be showing you all of those products today, um, but it is really fun to work with. <laughs> uh, but I'll show you some aspects of what's included in that suite because we are going to use some of those today. Um, and also, I've been really loving the Sweet Talk um, Valentine's Suite. It is adorable. <laughs> I'm going to be using that on next week's live. So if you're looking at Valentine's, and I don't, to be honest, don't typically buy Valentine's, but this, this sweet, it, it tugged at me. It's so cute. And I created some very pretty cute Valentine's cards with it. So you'll see that next week though. Um, so short answer, I guess is I don't really have a favorite just yet. I, I really truly liked everything that I have. And this stamp, this catalog in particular is, um, probably one of the best that they've had. They're coming out with, in my opinion, but um, <laughs> I may be a little biased here. Okay, so that's a lot of chatting. I'm a chatty girl today. Okay, so I'm going to fold this card base in half. I think I'm making up for missing the last couple of weeks, right? <laughs> and we're going to go right ahead and adhere our hand pen designer series paper right on top of our um, basic white card base. And I'm just using my stamp and seal for this. And I almost forgot, don't forget to share this video. You can win the two cards that I'm making tonight if you share. And I always appreciate when you guys share my videos. It means more than, more than you will ever know. Okay, so that is on there. And now we're going to do a little bit of stamping. And I'm going to actually bring over my red paper. And you could tell I used it a lot last night <laughs> because it's, it's very uh, inky. Uh, but we're going to start with, um, we're actually going to start with our sentiment because we're going to be filling out the space around it. So. I'm going to start with a sentiment and we are going to stamp that in Misty Moonlight ink. So I'm going to use my grid paper um, as a template. It's always great to have a piece of grid paper because it really can help you uh, keep things straight and all that kind of stuff. So um, hopefully it's as straight as possible for me. I do have my camera right above so it's hard to get. I have to stand up. <laughs> And it's hard to get sometimes it's straight on camera, but let's uh, let's try here. So I'm going to just try to line this up. And this is going to be stamped sort of closer to the bottom. And that's pretty good. So it's just to the bottom, just like that. And then we're going to do... Um, I don't have a block for this one, actually. I didn't pre-take this one out. We're going to use this bigger one first, and that's this one right here. So I just need to grab a block. I can grab enough. And there we go. Just using a D block. And for this, we're going to use a combination of Blushing Bride and Misty Moonlight. And for this, I'm actually going to bring out my sponge daubers. So I have one for Misty Moonlight, I have one for Blushing Bride. So I'm going to start with the Blushing Bride and I'm going to dab some of that ink or dab this dauber into the ink and I'm going to add some color that way. And if you wanted to, you can go right into the ink and then add the Misty after. But I like the color. I like how Blushing Bride comes out better, uh, the color that it comes out when I do it this way. Um, you may have heard sometimes when you're doing Misty or Blushing Bride, sometimes if, it, if the ink pad is oversaturated, it can actually come out a little bit more brown than pink. So this tends to come out a little bit lighter, which actually allows it to some of that more, more of that pink color to show through. 
So, and I love adding color um, this way onto stamps. So that's nice and juicy. So I'm happy with that. And then I'm gonna come in with my dauber and use some misty moonlight. And we're gonna add it on just the leaves and these little extra things here. So it's gonna look something like that, <laughs> which looks a little bit off, but don't worry. And it, this doing it with the sponge daubers allows the full color, even the misty moonlight, to come out a little bit lighter, which is what we want for this card. This is the kind of the look I'm going for. And so this is going to go about right here. And look at that. Is that not just so pretty? It, it, it's a, it's not too light and you've got just some really great color and it, it really blend allows it to the colors to blend in there. So pretty. So, so pretty. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice right now, to be honest. <laughs> Thank you guys for those hearts. Now we're going to do the same kind of thing several times over, uh, but this time we are going to use this little cluster of florals here. And it is just so pretty. Now, for this one, if you're looking to speed things up a bit, you know what, just dab lightly. My ink pad is running out of ink and I don't have a reinker yet. So um, it might not be too bad. So I am just dabbing it a little bit in the ink pad. And then I'm gonna come in just there's those little dots. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be, but I'm adding in some misty moonlight there around there as well. So you can see that just on those three parts. And then I'm going to stamp once up here. See, look how pretty that is as well. So I would say, depending on how juicy your Blushing Bride ink pad is, um, if it's not totally juicy, Definitely ink it in your pad to stay, uh, to, you know, to save a little bit of time. But if it's brand new, if it's juicy, then definitely um, you may want to, you know, use a sponge jarver uh, that way. So I wiped it off with my chamois. I'm going to re-ink it in my ink pad. And then again, I'm going to do that same thing. And we're gonna do this a couple of different times on this card. We're gonna fill up some of this white space here. So I'm gonna come in and just come down here. So, so pretty. And we'll do it a couple more times. And you'll notice that I am wiping off that misty moonlight before I am putting it back into the Flushing Bride ink pad. That's gonna be really important that you're paying attention to that because you don't want to mix them. And you especially don't want to get that dark misty moonlight onto your blushing bright ink pad. All right. Okay, we'll do one right here and then we'll do this one more time. I'll just wipe these off. I'm gonna do it one more time just to add a little bit of detail on the bottom there. And we'll just put that right there. And if you wanted to, you know, come in and add, fill in those little gaps. So that is our background photo, which is so pretty. I love it. And that's all of the stamping that we're going to be doing for this card. So I'm going to put these ink pads away. And I'll move this out of the way. Move the daubers out of the way. I don't want to get ink anywhere. <laughs> and then this is going to go right on top of our Blushing Bride. I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see a little better. And actually, let me zoom in. I should have zoomed in a little bit more before. But this will just be adhered to our Blushing Bride cardstock. 
And the Blushing Bride, you're gonna end up with a little bit of a border, and it's really gonna help those flowers pop a little bit more. So, then you have this really pretty layer here. Oh, how pretty is that? That's so nice. And then we're gonna take some white twine. Now, the twine that I originally used on this card is from the uh, Baker's Twine Essentials Pack, but I'm out of the white. So I do have just this spare roll of rather large roll of white twine that I'll use instead in its place. And I'm gonna go with two, tw about 20 inch pieces of twine. So I'm just going to cut this down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it around the back. Now this twine is a little bit thicker than what we have in the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. Um, so I prefer something a little bit thinner, <laughs> um, but this will work too. And then we're just gonna adhere this by tying a bow. And it's gonna be a double bow. Yeah, you definitely wanna use the regular twine. This one's a bit thick, but it's all I have on hand right now. So we're gonna use it. Still looks good. And I'll show you what the other one looks like with the regular twine. And then this is going to go up on some stamped and dimensionals. And I'm gonna add a couple more here. Thanks, Pam. Uh, this is going to be set in the center, just like that. So pretty, and I'm just going to trim this. Now I tried to find the regular twine to have as a backup, but I can only find this thick one. I definitely prefer something a bit thinner for sure. All right, so then what we're gonna do is add a new embellishment. And these are iridescent rhinestone basic jewels, which you guys know how much I love rhinestones, but check these ones out. They're so pretty. They're iridescent, so they've got this sort of like pinky, sort of yellow shimmer that just goes perfectly um, with, well, I've used them a lot, but it goes really well with this card. So I am using five on this card. And you can look at this, I'm already in my second pack. <laughs> That's how much I love these. Um, so I'm gonna put a large one, and then I'm gonna put a small one here, and then I'm gonna put another uh, large one up here and another smaller one here and then I'll take another smaller one and put one down in the corner here and how pretty is that and if you want to just take it one step further yeah you know what I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna say that is done how pretty is this card and this is the original one you can see that I had proper size twines so it definitely looks better with the smaller twine, but isn't that so pretty? Oh, I just love it. The stamp set is just so beautiful. <laughs> so I will say that this is, this card right here is a card that you'll be making as part of my Flowing Flowers card club. So if you're already a member or if you're thinking about joining, or if you just wanna join this January's class to just make these sets of cards, you can. Um, this is one of them. The next one is not one of them, but there are three other beautiful designs as part of the class. And with the class, you get all of the pre-cut cardstock, you'll get all of the designer series paper, any of the embellishments um, that you need, all of the die cuts done for you, and you get $30 worth of Stampin' Up! product that you will be using as part of the class. So it's a really good value for your money. 
um, and you'll get supplies to do eight cards, two of each four designs. So definitely check out the link in the description after this video. Um, it's a really beautiful class. It's probably some of my favorite cards that I've done. I will be doing a, um, a sort of sneak peek video after that I'll post to YouTube and my Facebook page. So if you do want to see the full designs, um, they'll be there for you, but I'm not going to show you now because I know I have some club members watching. So <laughs> I will wait to do that. So then if, if those who choose uh, to watch it and see sneak peeks, uh, they can do that. Um, okay, so we are going on to another card. I love this card coming up as well. <clears throat> we are using uh, a Misty Moonlight card base, and I have a basic white insert, and I also have this beautiful die cut from the Scalloped Contour dies. Thank you guys so much for those comments and just seeing them now. And then I'm using this really cute, fun paper. Um, so this designer series paper is from the brand new Abstract Beauty designer series paper from the new catalog. This is from the Abstract Beauty Suite. And now this suite is sort of one of the focal points for my upcoming retreat. Um, so let me show you these papers. And I will just point out what's different about these. Um, let me zoom out a little bit more. What's different about this paper pack is that while you still get 48 sheets, the size is different. The, the size of this paper is four by six. So usually we'd have 12 by 12s or six by six. Step Up is trying something new and introducing a four by six pack, which is awesome. I love how Stampin' Up is always trying new things. And I didn't think I would actually like the six, uh, four by six paper, but it is actually proving to be really useful. Uh, because it already gives you that measurement for those uh, card layers. So I'll show you the designs for those. Um, there are 12 different sheets and you get four of each in this pack. So there's uh, these fun patterns here. I move some of this stuff out of the way. You've got some really nice, beautiful patterns here. And I love the colors. I love the designs. Um, you just really get, look how fun this is. Isn't, isn't this so fun? Like all of these papers. So this is just one side. And then, oh yes, Pam, that's a good point. Hi, Kathy. And then if you turn them over, you've got some, a little bit more muted designs on the back, uh, a little bit more simple, but still you've got these beautiful colors and patterns and really the possibilities with this paper pack are endless. So there is your look at the abstract beauty. So, so pretty. Okay, so we're using a piece of that and it's this one right here. So I've already got it cut down to size. So let me bring these over. And so we can go ahead and fold these in half. And we are going to go ahead and adhere this little piece onto the bottom of our die cut. Now, when you're adhering paper to this die, um, three by three eighths of an inch across is the perfect size to fit right in, right in this die. It fits perfectly. Hi, Pat. I hope you're doing well. So I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that. Now I like to adhere things from the top because it's easier. So I'm just going to adhere it from the top and then I will just turn it around. So I'm just fitting that. You get a little bit of a space for border, but it fits so nicely in there. And then I am going to take some of that beautiful Blushing Bride metallic ribbon. Isn't this so pretty? Um, and we're going to feed it through on top. And can I just say I love Blushing Bride and Misty Moonlight together. <laughs> so pretty. Um, so we're just going to feed this through to the top one right here. And it's going to
It's going to feed just through each side and it's just going to cover the top of that paper. So just like that, and we're gonna turn it around and add a little bit of adhesive right where that paper comes out and we're just gonna lay that down. Pull it tight and so it stays put. Just cut off any excess and then you have just a nice little pop of shimmer there. Okay, now you could choose to do that after you stamp. In hindsight, I probably should have waited, but that's okay. I am going to take out um, this large flower here in The Blushing Bride. And we're gonna ink right in, right on the ink pad. And we're gonna add, and I'm just gonna actually pull that down a little bit. You know what, in hindsight, don't do that first. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'm actually gonna pull that back a little bit and then we're gonna add our flower. So I'm going to just put that just right there, right? And then I'll just feed that back. Should have done that first, but it's an easy thing to redo. So it's just gonna fit there. It's okay that that's covered a little bit. You could put it up a bit higher if you'd like and then I am bringing out that same cluster of flowers and I'm just going to clean off that, those misty moonlight parts because we are doing this same thing again with the Blushing Bride ink and the misty moonlight with the sponge dauber. Just a little bit. I'm just going really lightly there. And then this is just going to come over, let me bring this red paper out, and it's just going a little bit in the corner, just like that, just for some extra detail right up there in the corner, just to kind of help fill that space a little bit. Okay, I'm going to move the Blushing Bride out of the way, and then we're going to take the Thank You Sentiment, and we're going to make a thank you card. So I'm going to ink that up in Misty Moonlight. And I'm gonna make sure this is straight and I'm gonna stand up to try to get this straight. And I'll just zoom in a little bit. And I'm just going to put the sentiment, this is, I'm gonna have to move it actually a little bit towards me because the camera's in the way. Hopefully I get this straight. Just gonna put the sentiment right there, sort of in the corner. There we go, oh, that looks good. So you want it to cover that flower just a little bit so you, you have it just peek through that sentiment and how pretty is that I'm just gonna zoom back out a little bit hopefully if it lets me there we go how pretty is that layer already so nice and if you wanted to take it a step further I do have an insert piece that will be going right on the inside so while you have your stamps out you can just use that cluster and, and do that same thing. I'm gonna wipe off the excess. So actually I'm gonna bring the blushing bright back out. And I'm gonna add a little bit of detail inside the card. And add some misty moonlight. And just right in the corner there, I'm gonna have that on the inside so you get that extra detail on the inside of this card as well. All right, so that's all the stamping that we're gonna be doing for this card. So I'm gonna move the inks out of the way and I'll move the blocks out of the way. And let's go ahead and put this on the inside. like that look at how, how pretty does that look to have a nice little detail on the inside there okay and uh, this is going to go on the outside but we're going to pop that up on some Stampin' Dimensionals so I will add some on here
and you want to get this as centered as possible. Put that down. How pretty is that looking? I love that scallop detail there. So, so pretty. Okay, so we are going to take a, another piece of that Blushing Bride ribbon. And we are just going to knot it. So we're just putting in a little knot. And just like that. And we're going to adhere that over top of the ribbon that's already there with a mini glue dot. So I'm just going to put the glue dot on the back center. And this is just going to go right in the center. Just like that. And then I will trim the ribbon down. So, so pretty. And then to finish off this card, I'm going to show you another new product, which is the, uh, let me look up what the actual name is because it's, uh, let me just give you one second. <laughs> well, Pat, it's like a, it's a, it's a knot. <laughs> Not like a bow bow. <laughs> Easier than a bow, right? <laughs> oh, I'm not supposed to be showing you inside of the uh, catalog, but you're getting a little, you're getting a little peek. Okay, so this is just adhesive-backed hexagon. So that is these right here. This is part of the Abstract Beauty Suite, but it's also, of course, available for purchase on its own. So let me give you a closer look. I've used some because it's part of my retreat. Um, retreat project. So you get some um, black sort of blushing bride and just jade um, hexagons and they have adhesive already on the back which is even better. So we're actually going to use um, three of the blushing bride ones and I'm just going to use uh, sort of the medium size one and we're just going to put three down here just for some extra detail, extra texture, and it looks pretty cute. So just three down there and then that finishes off the card. What do you guys think of that? I love it. It's so cute. And then of course, they open it up and get that really cute extra detail inside as well. All right, so I hope you guys love that one. Thank you guys so much for all those hearts. This is actually one of the retreat projects, online retreat projects. <laughs> and I wasn't gonna tell you that, but um, I will. <laughs> thanks Jennifer, thanks Pat, thanks Kathy and Michelle. I appreciate all those hearts, everyone. Um, Pat, you still don't have your, your catalog. They should send you one. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Sandy. All right, so I'm going to bring back the other one so you can just get one more look at it. And there we go. So we've got two really what I think are beautiful cards featuring the new flowing flowers stamp sets. As I said, I do have a class scheduled with these cards right now. You can click the link in the description of this video and register. Now, if you are in Canada, um, unfortunately, if you're outside of Canada, I'm not able to send you class packs as per Stampin' Up! rules. Um, but uh, if you're in Canada, I ship anywhere. As I said, you get all the supplies sent to you uh, for eight cards and you'll get all of the pre-cut cardstock, all of the die cuts, all of the embellishments and um, I'm hoping to include a full pack of these iridescent rhinestone jewels and a full pack of the twine as well as a full pack of stamp and dimensionals and that as well. So plus all of this other supplies to create all the cards. 
Um, stamp set will be um, available as an add-on option as well. Um, and then you'll just need to provide the ink and adhesive. So I hope you all love these cards. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so happy to be back doing my Facebook Lives. And I appreciate all of you watching. Don't forget to share this video uh, for a chance to win these two cards. Um, I always love sending happy mail to those uh, who share. So don't forget to do that. And if you need anything from me, of course, please reach out, send me a message. And uh, thank you so much. Have a good night. And I will see you all next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Bye.